that stinks. Ugh, don't like the toilet too much. It's seen better days. Yes, this is the old tenant. Seriously? Yeah. What's this about? Um, You've trashed the house. What's happening? Um, you remember that nice four bedroom property that I've got down south? Yes. That I would gave a, I gave a fourteen day notice to the tenants. Um, they have now left the property while you were away, and um, I've got a wee bit of a problem. What kind of problem? They, um, well, it's in a bit of a state, so just wondering if you'd like to come and have a look. Okay. When Nicola says a bit of a state, she could mean a state of chaos, or she could mean a state of ecstasy. Tracy hopes it's the latter, but suspects it's the former. Okay, let's see what we've got. Bring in the cavalry. What Tracy's got is years of experience in property management. What Nicola's got... Who? It stinks, doesn't it? ..is a ruined rental. And she's going to need all Tracy's expertise in fixing this up for the landlord. Come over here and have a look at the kitchen. Seriously? Oh, my God! Inspire have only taken on this property since the landlord contacted them in desperation after non-payment of rent, suspected subletting and possible damage became serious concerns. So not even bothered to clean at all. What freaking pigs! The surfaces are filthy and the cabinetry's in an awful state. Like the ex-tenants, everything seems to be unhinged. And down here, look at the pantry. It's like it's been chewed. That's a dog. Yeah. A dog that they weren't allowed to have on the property yep. has chewed, chewed that. The While the dogs chewed up the kitchen, thankfully it seems it hasn't done the other thing delinquent dogs are famous for. Or has it? That is Look, there's animal faeces yep. there. Gross, eh? And then we come to the wardrobe oh, side. God. Evidence of a dog. More flies in Having here. A big scratch along the side here. Pets were not in the rental agreement. This has turned out to be a rare breed of a dog of a tenancy. Sometimes tenants think they can do what the hell they like. They need to remember that they're actually in somebody else's house. Who on earth would do this to such an increasingly precious commodity? Nicola knows she evicted them on the landlord's behalf. They stood over there when I saw them out and they just said, send us the bill. So I don't know how much they're thinking the bill's going to be, but, um, yeah, this new carpet, locks, cleaning. So I guess we'll be seeing them in court. Yes, we will be. I see there's a parcel at the door, actually. I'm wondering if they want to exchange it for the damage. They can have their parcel back. <laughs> That'd be quite good. Not really likely, eh? No. But it seems the courier of destiny is on Nicola's side. Guess who's just turned up to retrieve their parcel? Is this your old house? Yes, this is the old tenant. Yeah. So What's this about? Um, You've trashed the house. Click property manager Andrea's heading off to an inspection with a difference. The property needs a renovation to bring the property up to standard for the pending Insulation Healthy Homes Act. The Healthy Homes Act means tenants get a warm, dry, insulated home. Landlords around New Zealand are having to spend thousands of dollars renovating their properties. And they couldn't be happier. Time is of the essence, especially when you're doing a renovation in between tenancies. So my main aim is to go and have a look at the property, assess what we need to do, and then work out a time frame. While Andrea's right on the leading edge of property management in Dunedin, she's no builder. So having a team of reliable tradies on call is essential. However, a property boom here means those who work with their hands are in short supply. It's a major problem. Oh, wow. Because this unit is a damp dump. No curtains. No insulation. Oh, look at that. No heating or serviceable carpet. Tenant lived here for 18 years. He didn't want to move. Wow, look at this. Wonder how many bits of toast have been cut on this for Mike a bench top. Typically, the flat features a cold, Cold War era lavatory. Ugh, don't like the toilet too much. It's seen better days. But with no builders available and no advanced building skills herself, how on earth can Andrea turn this place around? by calling her husband, Andrew, and there he is. Oh! Hi. How you doing? Good. As a registered master builder, Andrew's very busy, but Andrea's promised him this will be a doddle. Um, sure. 
Well, obviously, brick walls. Yep. Not insulated. Yep. Not those strapped and jibbed. You tell me the, the best thing. Okay. Obviously, we need a new kitchen. So, do you want the kitchen to be like this, or do you want a new lock kitchen? Potentially move the sink over mm -hmm. if that works well with the kitchen. Yep. Um, get rid of the hot water cylinder. Yep. Make it gas. Yep. Curtains, carpet, doors. And then you've got the bathroom here. Then you've just got the two little bedrooms. The varnish work, yep. that's kind of outdated. I think we'd take this out, surely, wouldn't we? I think it's an advantage to have a built-in wardrobe. OK, so Andrew, I need to know a time frame. When do you want this to happen? How's yesterday? Uh, not on my calendar. Oh, really? Andrew has the opportunity to be Andrea's knight in polar fleece armour. The brownie points for this could last for months. We're coming into Christmas. Can you not work around that? <laughs> we can talk to a few people and see what we can do. <laughs> Andrew's company, Reno Masters, aren't just the kings of Reno, they're the kings of demo and time management. Without delay, Andrew's got two likely lads in with sledgehammers and a challenge to get this place turned around ASAP. It's been a wet winter. While most of the good girls' tenants have observed rules around keeping their rentals well ventilated, many haven't. Property manager Prue has one such rental and it's been doing her head in. So the walls were wet, actually wet and all, everything was just falling off as a result. It just couldn't cope. I sent brochures, I came to talk to them, I pre-warned them, we 14-dayed them, we cease and desist, we did it all over the 18 months. It was just despicable. A few days later, the clearly amphibious tenants have gone. But now Prue and associate Linda's job is to go and assess the state of the home before re-tenanting. Let's have a look. Oh, God, it stinks. Disgusting. And oh. Curtains, new curtains. New curtains. Oh, there's a whole meal. There's a meal with drinks. Look at the wall. And the house. And the skirting. Now this. They yeah. tried to scrub this off. Children's artwork. So this was freshly painted yes. one and a half years ago. Artwork on the walls in the living room, artwork on the floor in the bedroom. Right. Did someone have a tummy bug? So all of this, all of, oh God, I can smell something rotting. Look at this wall. But wait till the bedroom. Yeah. But they've removed the paint. I know. How does one do that? The landlord installed all the mod cons, double glazing, heat pump, insulation, extractor fans, with instructions how to use everything, all to no avail. Crikey, dick! And the bath is disgusting, those old pubes. Oh. And skid marks up the door. Skid! Prue's bright red hair is about to turn purple with rage. It's time to leave before they both drown. I don't know. So disappointed. More than bloody disappointed. The good girls owe it to the landlord and the entire rental industry to get this property up to scratch ASAP so a new deserving tenant can get a roof over their head. Inspire property managers Tracy and Nicola are inspecting a rental they took over after the tenants caused significant damage. One of the tenants, whose name is on the lease, has just turned up at the front door. Do you know how much money it's going to be to fix this? No. Over Thousands. 20,000 at least. 20, yeah, yeah, and you've got to be paying for it. Yep, all of yours. She thinks $20,000 is a bit over the top. Yeah, Tracy invites her in to get reacquainted. Have you seen the... Can I have a look? Yeah, we'll show you. Look, have a look. Stay, stay, stay. There's yeah. the kitchen. Where um, the... You had your dogs in here. That the bottom of the thing. Where's the panel gone? The and then the kitchen. The above there where the fridge was. There's damage in the bedrooms. There's damage everywhere. How do, you, how do you think the owner feels about this? He's Probably gutted. Really yeah, yeah, he's gutted because this is his property and you've wrecked it. The tenant acknowledges the damage but staggeringly reports she moved out months ago and bears no responsibility. But Tracy's got news for her. If it wasn't you, it wasn't me at okay, all. that's cool, whatever. But the bottom line is that you're still responsible. Yeah. You were still responsible because you were living here and you were named on the tenancy agreement. Yeah. So you're going to find it really hard to rent in Invercargill again. 
Naturally, Tracy's reluctant to have this young lady or any of her pals in any of her other properties. Trouble is, she is. Where have I met you before? Um, at... Tracy's surprised to learn the young lady is currently residing at another property her mum rents off Tracy. Stop, it will never ever get like that. No, it won't. Promising, promising. It won't. It's just me and my mum, like. Okay, well, unfortunately, we will be seeing you in court. And I would start saving some money if I were you. As they say in property management, you make your bed, you lie in it. The girls will need to call in all their preferred contractors to turn this place around as soon as possible. It's one of the worst I've seen in a long time, unfortunately. So the landlord can restart cash flow. Click property manager Andrea's heading back to the two-bedroom unit she and her husband Andrew are having renovated for the landlord. Yeah, the, the owner of this property is actually really good. He has um, appreciates the fact that we need to renovate it and he's given the green light to do a complete overhaul so it's quite exciting so now we've just got to coordinate that oh wow we andrew's gone all out and reduced this flat to the barest of bare canvases but he had his reasons water that is water damage i got an update from the builder to say that when they were taking everything out all of the smooth edge along the carpet edge, especially round outside here in the bathroom, was all rotten. There has been a slow leak over time that's actually come out here. And you can actually see water damage on the concrete where it's actually trailed through. So hence the need to renovate. Definitely a blank canvas now and I'm not going to miss that scoty toilet that was in there. Courtesy of new regulations, some lucky tenant may now not get pneumonia. Some people find it hard to envisage what it will look like finished, but um, when it does, it'll look stunning. And so we're not too far away from putting it back together again to market it for new tenants for the new year. So it's out with the old and the cold, and quite possibly in with the old people. Andrea can see this being someone's retirement dream home. Inspire property manager Nicola's heading back to the rental property that was severely ravaged by tenants. So we've spent the last few weeks trying to get it all back to normal again and uh, we've got some new tenants moving in pretty much uh, just after lunch. There's been quite a bit of loss of income from the owner. He's actually um, had a, he's got insurance cover but unfortunately the insurance company are uh, still deliberating over how much they want to pay him. Um, what the, gent the owners had to go and do is actually take out a personal loan to get this bought up to scratch. Last time Tracy crossed this threshold, she reacted like this. Who? It stinks, doesn't it? And look at this, it just gets worse. Oh my God! Today, she reacts like this. Oh, that looks great! It looks really good, doesn't like it? Like the carpet. Carpet's awesome. And they've got the new drapes, new nets, and look at this. Last time the kitchen got this reaction. What freaking pigs! Today it gets this reaction. Yay! Everything's perfect. Well, I'd live in here, this is lovely. It's beautiful in here. Um, the bedrooms are just as good. While the kitchen and carpets have been restored to as new condition, the bathroom was quite a challenge. We had to also replace the whole shower because it was broken as well. We've kept the doors, so we managed to salvage the doors, but yeah. the whole liner and the base had to be ripped out and put back in again. But down the hall is where the contractors really earned their money. Last time, the dog-eared bedroom got quite the response. Evidence of a dog. More flies Having in here. Having a big scratch along the side here. Seriously? But the newly made over space gets this response. Check out this on the side, the painter. Oh, put wow. so much effort into fixing this. That's really, really good. And outside, apart from a crop circle and a can of bourbon cola mix... Are you thirsty? Yeah, nah. The gardens have been restored to a high standard. Thought, nice. I'd, thought I'd pop a couple of little wee plants in for the owner, just to cheer him up. Yeah, it's been a rough ride, but... But you've done well. We're done. Um, tenants are moving in in half an hour. Well done. So I guess I can stay. 
You I'm not having there. a drink. <laughs> no, thanks. <laughs> Good Girl's Chief Executive Officer Prue has been working overtime to have a grimy, slimy hothouse of a flat return to its original condition. She's come back with bells on and bangles on to inspect the fruits of many contractors' hard labour. Last time we were here, it was smelly, filthy, cold, wet and moulded. We have trans... Her. Last time Prue unlocked this door, she unleashed an odour straight from Satan's jock strap. Let's have a look. Oh, God, it stinks. That's disgusting. Oh. Curtains, new curtains. New curtains. Oh, there's a whole meal. There's a meal with drinks. Today, the smell is nothing less than heavenly. Oh, you can smell the ming of paint. So, we've put up new drapes. In keeping. All the walls have been painted. No more mildew. Oh, so much better. Look at this. This was riddled and mould and bubbles and horror. You may remember, it looked like shite down here. Look at that. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Prue's turned a shambles into champagne. And better yet, the ex-tenant will be shouting this round, not the owner. They are actually paying for all this repair to the paintwork because it's deliberate damage. It's negligence on their part. Very costly. Nearly $3,000 for repairs to the property and cleaning. Bloody good job. Another disaster restored in record time. Prue, take the rest of the day off, you little... beaut. Property manager Andrea's off to check out husband Andrew's upgrade on the gutted concrete block ice block flat. Wow, first impressions, I'm... I'm very excited about what I am going to see today. And what is super exciting is normally every property manager's nightmare is key. So in this instance, because we've got the push button keyless entry, we're in. Last time Andrea called in. Oh, wow, we. The inside of this flat resembled a derelict school swimming pool. There has been a slow leak over time that's actually come out here. You can actually see water damage on the concrete. Today, it looks like a five-star hotel suite. Looking really good. And there's the fancy new LED lights. How cool is this? Cheese boards, chopping boards. This is a piece of the Remu bookshelf that was originally here in the old kitchen. But more importantly, look at this beautiful kitchen. Stove, range hood, heat pump, glass splashbacks, sink and bench, luxury bathroom. Everywhere Andrea looks, it's new, new, new. Oh, I love the smell of new paint and carpet. I don't know what it is about it, but it's quite inviting. Nice, soft thermodrape, good fixtures and fittings and door handles. There's been no expense spared or when it comes to design and functionality. Everything in here has been completely changed um, internally. Uh, apart from the concrete floor and the actual concrete walls, everything's brand new. Everything's clicked into place. That's why they call it Click Property Management. I'm super impressed. That renovation is, has come up amazing and it's going to be no problem in renting that little flat now.